So you've been thinking about buying or selling a home here in the Long Beach area or one of the surrounding cities, but you're a little confused about the price per square foot? Well, that's what we're jumping onto right now. How you doing everybody? My name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor with Nationwide Real Estate Executives here in the Long Beach area and all of the surrounding cities. Now, if this is your first time seeing me here on YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications because I do put out videos all about Long Beach, all about the surrounding cities, all about the things that you want to know about, where you want to live, where you want to work, where you want to eat, and where you want to play. So whether you're looking to buy a home or sell a home, the price per square foot could just be way all over the place. And that depends on a lot of different factors. And this is what confuses people when they're shopping for a home or trying to price their home. They see that the house next door to them is going for $700 a square foot, but the house down the street went for $300 a square foot. So why would there be such a big dramatic change right there? So as you've been doing your research about homes, about the neighborhoods you want to live, about everything about Long Beach, you've probably realized that buying a home here is just not a cookie cutter price per square foot. Now, there are three different major factors here that really contribute to this. Well, number one would be location, location, location. That's the old real estate mantra, right? Well, Long Beach is a very walkable city and there are a lot of segmented neighborhoods like Belmont Shores or Naples, compared to like Lakewood Village or Wrigley, Bixby. So when you look at each individual neighborhood, they will have their own little niche which will be priced accordingly per square foot based on schools, walkability, public access, is the property on a busy road, or are you on a flight path? What type of style of home is it? Is it a Tudor, a traditional home, or a cozy contemporary style home? Attached, detached garage, does it have an ADU, and not to mention the floor plan. But here's what I get all the time people actually want to be on the same floor that their kids are on. So if you have a two story with just the master bedroom upstairs and all the other bedrooms are downstairs, that could be considered an undesirable floor plan. But if you have a floor plan with all the bedrooms on the same level, that would be more of a desirable floor plan. And of course, I don't think I have to go into bathroom count. Every single family wants two bathrooms. I don't care if they're single, they want two bathrooms. I don't care if they're newlyweds, they want two bathrooms. No kids, two bathrooms. But the one thing that they really, really want is the master bedroom with the <coughs> They want is the master suite with the master bedroom bathroom. Now, all of these things that I just talked about are all part of the equation that goes into the factoring of the price of your home. So as you can see, there is a lot that really goes on to this. And that's why a particular home might sell for $450 a square foot and the house three doors down might sell for $600 a square foot. But these homes are not cookie cutters. They are all individualized. However, when you're buying a condo, a townhouse, or even brand new construction track home, these properties should be priced almost exactly identical per square foot. Now in the condo world, it all comes down to views, if there's any, the amenities, accessibility. But if it's in the same complex, it just comes down to condition. And we can easily figure out what the value of the condo is per square foot. So we discuss location. Now it's the condition. The condition of your home will dictate a lot of the price per square foot. Now here's what I see. Whether it has all updated systems and appliances, is the electrical plumbing updated? Does it have the original hardwood floors? That is huge here in this area. Glued a laminate on top of that hardwood floor? That makes this home a little less desirable to a lot of people. Why? Well, because hardwood floors are just badass. Not this crappy stuff that they have today and they're trying to pass off as hardwood floor, floors. <coughs> Poor girl. How's the siding of the house? Did you, is it still the original siding? Did you add uh, more stucco, wood, rock, brick, and it's been kept up in great condition. Painted fascia. What, what type of cooling system does the home have? If needed, if any, because a lot of the homes here in Long Beach don't have central air because you don't really need it. But basically when it comes down to condition, I think you'd know the difference if you walked into a $700 per square foot home 
compared to a $300 per square foot home. I think you would pretty much know it right off the bat. And at the end of the day, the inspector goes through everything to make sure that all the systems are updated, tuned up correctly, and working properly. We can address any items that are not working properly. We can also test for mold, radon, the sewer lines, making sure that we have your best interests at heart to protect your investment. Let's take a quick little time out before we go on. This little uh, video today is brought to you by Give Me a Like Please from Chuck Norris. So you know when people ask me about the housing shortage and what can be done about it and the only thing I can really say is well we, we can't produce any more land. The price on land will fluctuate depending on location. If you're in Malibu obviously that is valuable real estate compared to Lizard Lake, Virginia. I don't even know if there is a Lizard Lake, Virginia. I heard it once. So the price on the land will vary just by location. Now you build your home on that land and that price per square foot will naturally drop. The bigger the house you build, the less price per square foot. So I, I get asked all the time, hey Steve, what's the deal? I found this 3,200 square foot home priced at $300 and, or $309 a square foot. But down the street, there's a 1,500 $1, square foot home priced at $500 a square foot. And that is primarily why. But I do have to tell you, when you see a property that's about $100,000 under market value, well, there's some pretty sneaky agents out there who like to play tricks. What they do, that creates a bidding war. But they put in $100,000 low so they can bring everybody in. It just creates a huge excitement on that listing. They will fall in love with the house and they will, all right, we want it, so we'll drop the contingencies uh, over our, uh, asking price. Therefore, working with a professional like myself so that we know exactly how much that house should be valued at. And then we have, an, we have the appraisal done by our lender to make sure that you are not overpaying because the absolute last thing you want to do is walk into a home with negative equity. So all of these things are very important for us to get together to make sure that you are buying a home that fits your and your family's needs. So again, my name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area with Nationwide Real Estate Executives. If this is your first time, do me a little favor. I need some self-esteem. Really, this lockdown is getting to it. Hit, hit that subscribe button, maybe the like or something.